much made easy. Uh -huh. And a little bit about me, my name is Sanjana Sundar and uh -huh. I'm in ninth grade. Okay. And I go to Green Hill High School and I'm from Cary from District 2. Okay. And I've never done coding before, so this is my first time doing it. And uh -huh. I use Google App Script. Oh, Google App? Yeah. Uh, okay, so, App Lab? Yeah. Okay. So my app was called Move Meds Made Easy. Uh -huh. And it's an app that when parents come in to check in their child's medication at school, right. for people that have asthma, diabetes, allergies, uh -huh. so for an EpiPen or inhaler, uh -huh. when they check it in, all the information is entered into an online form that will look like this. So it'll oh, say okay. student names. That's a Google form. Right. Student names. And then medicine expiration date uh -huh. and the name of the medicine and and who's your intended audience? Um, schools. Oh, schools. The like um, the nurse at school. Yeah. Okay, great. To buy this and so that they don't lose files on paper. Oh yeah. And also, my app will send out an automatic reminder. Right. Uh, one week before the expiration date comes, so wow. that parents will be reminded to. Okay, so it sends out an automatic reminder yeah, when the day. when the medication is about to start. Oh, yeah. Okay, one week yeah. great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. With some professors at the University of Maryland, right? Uh -huh. And they were they were writing this paper about how you can use computers to essentially like kind of show people how different genes uh -huh. affect cancer survival. Right. And they just wanted me to make an app to help them visualize that. Basically, I made an app that did what they were describing. Right. So, so what, what, what platform did you use? Well, I used the Shiny R. Shiny R? Yeah, R is a programming language for like statistics, um, bioinformatics, a lot of stuff like that. Uh -huh. And then Shiny is a package that allows you to create web apps using uh -huh. just R. Oh, great. Um, but I use part, some of R, some of JavaScript to build this. Okay, great. And so what are we looking at here again? I'm sorry. Right. So essentially, I clicked on the Burka 1 gene, right? Uh -huh. So genes that have three different types of expression values. It's like a quantile. Um, so we kind of abstract it to low, medium, high. Right. Right. So this red one is the um, chance you'll have a surviving cancer over time mm -hmm. if you have a lowly expressed BRCA1 gene. You mm -hmm. can even get rid of it to make it more clear. Right. Right. So this blue one, that's how likely you are to survive cancer on a scale of 0 to 1 over time if you have a medium expression of the BRCA1 gene. So you can kind of see how all these different genes affect cancer. Right. Yeah. So then, this is basically data that you uh, crunch based on what doctors have given you, right? Yeah, um, all the UMD professors, undergrad students have come up with all the data. I just had to put in the app and visualize it. Okay, so everything what? you see here is built by me. Great, yeah, that's it, wonderful, it's awesome. Uh, what year are you? Oh, I'm a senior. Okay, so great. Class of 2017. Okay, best so. of luck to you. A fantastic app, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so this is Pocket Doctor, our app, which is focusing on um, providing health education and healthcare to the developing world. Okay. Uh, so um, one of our main features is your find a doctor function. Uh -huh. So on our app, you can it will detect your location and, all, and also report all the nearest hospitals nearby. Now and this is like something just for the U.S. or worldwide. So this or? is aimed for the developing world because okay. a lot of the a lot of the diseases that people die for are grouped into uh, class one diseases, uh -huh. which are usually preventable. Right. So since in the U.S. we have a lot of education about like, fevers and how to treat them, yeah. but these developing countries they don't. So before they become potentially serious or terminal diseases, right. um, people can identify these symptoms and go see a doctor in time. And is this web based? Is it Android? Is it iOS? Is it's, it... um, so right now we are a web app. Oh, uh, web so app. Okay. it's in JavaScript, HTML, CSS. But we're looking okay. to expand into Android apps. So it would be on the Google Play Store. Okay, so you just share a link with someone and then they can yeah. actually create a shortcut to the URL yes. on your phone. Okay, great. Okay, thank you very much. Of course. Photography app done using Android Studio, Studio mm -hmm. but you actually coded it in Java. Yeah. Okay, so what is the purpose of this app? So my app kind of teaches geography in a unique way. Because uh -huh. if you look on different play stores and things like that, right. if you search geography, you find map quizzes and, you know, the usual thing 90% of the time. Yeah. So I wanted to create a new kind of way to learn geography, which is through interactive text. Oh, so, interactive text. Exactly. Okay, cool. cool. So um, what do you... 
what's how's your app different? So instead of just a map quiz or just text that you read through, my app integrates things like Google Maps into it, ah. and it also incorporates images and many other things okay. to make the text more interactive when you read. Okay. So instead oh. of just going through it, you can right. click on different buttons to take you to different maps, oh, okay. and it'll just be more interesting to read about. Yeah, oh, well, absolutely. Yeah. Um, do you have your business card here? Yeah, sure. Okay, great, thank you. All right, so tell me a little bit about Tutor Connect. Okay. Tutor Connect is an app that connects students who are struggling academically with volunteer tutors. So the way this works is retired community members who have just a lot of experience and knowledge to give can sign up on this app to um, tutor students. Right. So when the student needs help, they'll log on to their um, account, onto their app, and then um, they'll choose what they need help with. Right. And then a list of students will appear in that subject. Right. And so the student can choose that, that tutor, the tutor they want, based on location, availability, such as which days and times to work. How do you connect with the tutor? So when the student chooses the tutor they want, they'll be given a phone number and an email okay. that they can call or email. Or maybe Skype with them or something. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. So, our app is the math app. This app allows you to practice linear, linear and quadratic equations. Right. It has an easy to use interface and it gives you the definition and allows you to practice and check any of the problems. It also allows you to do quadratic, which is uh, an equation of square into the second power, like a parabola. What about a hyperbola? Or we have not done hyperbolas yet. Hopefully in future iterations we'll be able to. But so, likewise with the linear, it allows you to practice right. and check any amount of these problems. And that looks like it's App Inventor, is that correct? Yes. That might be App Inventor. So what are you guys going to do after this? You're going to port it over to Android or? Uh, hopefully, like to. hopefully we can add more to it and make it more accessible to people. And, and then we'll upload it to Google Play maybe? Yeah. Okay, hopefully. great. Okay, congratulations guys. Thank you.